Hey everybody, Papa Boris here, playing some more Shotgun King. Last run, I sabotaged myself because I didn't realize that this game was BS on a half shell. So we're moving on to Ramses the second, probably in my opinion the strongest gun in the game. Although I have never beaten more than rank seven with it, and I do need a rank eight win because I was robbed, robbed I tell you in my last run. And if I don't win with any guns, I'm gonna have to do all of rank eight all over again. Okay, I don't wanna take shots here and maybe just lose the discovered check, so let's start firing. Um, was that smart? Was that smart? Well, you know, what is smart? What is stupid? These are just social constructs. I, yeah, well, we're done, we're done with the dream of knocking the king off the board, which really is probably not likely to ever happen anyways. Let's kill the bishops. You know, there's not that much advancement happening here. Let's just move around, get some ammo back, and then we should be able to do this. The pushback was actually nice there because it let me keep shooting at the king without having to reload. All right, we got the limited movement, and then, oh god, this thing. I, I never win with this. I never ever win with this. We're not doing it. There, ammo and you kill a rook and a couple of two damage grenades. Yes, lovely, fantastic, wonderful and glorious. Alrighty, now we're looking for more grenade stuff. I like the bleed, that would be great. Let's move on up here, start shooting. Sure, let's keep shooting and then we can do two damage to the king here. Oh, we did two damage to the king and the rooks, beautiful. I'm gonna just go for this bishop. And let's do that again, that was good. Uh, that was an unlucky bounce, but we still have done four damage to the king, which I'm completely fine with. And I am gonna take a shot. I know I'm in a situation where I gotta get some ammo back, but I think that killing, oh, that was a bit unlucky. I think that killing the pieces is important. Okay, okay, we're gonna do it this way, huh? We're gonna be like that today, are we? Alrighty, let's get a little bit of ammo back and now, now I can play it safe. Let's not take any unnecessary chances. Call it a day. Okay, we got extra damage every 10 turns. However, we have the promotion, and then we can lose our grenade, which sucks. Well, we still have a grenade, and we got Blade 3. Blade 3 is good. I mean, this just kills pawns. I feel like that's solid enough. And it also kills, like, knights, I think, right? Doesn't it kill knights? It kills knights. It doesn't kill bishops. But we one-shot pawns, and... We can finish off pieces. I mean, Blade 3 is just its just good stuff, Blade 3. All right, let's, let's weaken this bishop. Now if it comes near me, I can blade him. Yeah, look at that, look at that blade. Bleep, saved some ammo. Okay, did I just let myself get put in checkmate? Quite possibly. Blade this rook. Now I gotta move, now I gotta spend some turns here and not shooting. Fine, let's, let's, let's do two damage to the knight. I was hoping it would do two damage to that knight as well. I would love to tell you I planned for that, but I didn't actually realize that knight was gonna die. I'm gonna just blade that knight. Yeah, look at that blade. It's doing great. I am perfectly happy to have sacrificed a grenade. You could even argue that this, that taking grenades is like an extra value because it makes this card possible to appear. Okay, interesting situation here. I don't like this, this is stupid in my opinion, but I don't want August Presence now that I have the Nightbane, but I think I'm just gonna take that anyway. Yeah, things can't move near me, so I can't blade them as easily, but generally speaking, things not being able to move near you is incredibly strong, so we're just gonna roll with that. Let's get up here, and try to, okay, I'll just damage the king. The queen and the rook, perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that's a new way to lose the game. Oh, you knock back the king diagonally, and that puts you in discover check, because I'm like, oh, you can shoot at the king with a piece behind you, if you kill the king, you win the level, right? Right, 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 nope. <laughs> oh, man. All right, that was only four minutes, so we're starting afresh. That was foolish. I am almost in checkmate now. Uh-huh. Okay, luckily... You're almost dead, you're almost dead. Oh, that's, nope, not quite checkmate. Really close though. Oops, that was, yep, mm-hmm, okay. Um, I probably should've just taken a shot at the rook, but we played it safe. And let's blockade the pawn. I'm just gonna blockade these pawns for a little bit, get some ammo back. 
Actually, I wonder, can you knock a pawn into the promotion area? Is that a thing? Okay. So, <laughs> trying it one more time here. <laughs> so we've got the Seer Zorb. We do love that. And then we lose an ammo and get an extra knight. It's fine. I do love the bleed grenades. This is... Eh, it's a problem. But uh, I think I think you gotta take the Seer Zorb. Adding an extra knight's not that huge of a deal. The Seer Zorb is pretty cool and unless you do some interesting and surprising tactical things. And the search. I mean, it has search. Which is a very strong power-up on the first level of the game. Okay, we step here. Shoot there, shoot there. I think I'll step back. Uh-huh. Yep. Oh, you're going to do that to, to me, are you? Okay. So I guess we'll just go down this way. The knight will put me in check. I can sidestep it. Oh, the bishop. I forgot about the bishop putting me in check. Yep, nope, that's annoying. All right, so the rook is committed to going there. So I'm going to go here so the rook doesn't put me in check. That was all Seer's Orb, by the way. Finish off the knight. Mm, I'm out of ammo. All right. I did a little bit too much shooting. So we've got to spend some moves. The rook's going up there. Where's the bishop going? There? Okay. Ah, uh, yes, the rook changed because I took the seer orb off the rook. I'm just going to walk around. Um, you're going to go up there, so I'll go there so you can't check me. There we go. So we'll do the king next. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. We got two damage. It's pretty good. I'll take the fire arc and the knight. And then the pawns attacking in front of them has no good. So we're going to reroll that one. Pawns move an additional space. But there's one less pawn. And we got caltrops. Hmm. That's a tough one. I like the just a straight two firepower though. I mean that's pretty good. I am a fan of caltrops. With the pieces sometimes randomly getting bleed. But I feel like this is fine. We're going to now do a, some wide arc shots here. I was really hoping to get some knockback while the pieces were in the home row. Alas, it was not to be. Um, what are you? Knights can charge. They don't. They don't attack diagonally. They just charge. No knockback. Uh oh. Eh, I should be putting Seer's Orb on something. I forgot. Okay, that was some pretty good blasting. Although again, I do have two extra firepower now, so it's not that unlikely. Okay, I used up all my ammo. And you might be thinking, Boris, was that smart? Did you really want to use up all your ammo like that? Eh, maybe not. Oh, I was really hoping for some knockback. The knockback is just uh, not really happening today, but um, okay. So I guess I don't have any places to move. I have to reload the gun and use my last bullet to kill the bishop. So I have a bishop soul to get the hell out of here. Okay, the rook's going there. All right, I am in checkmate. I gotta use the bishop soul to get out. Knockback? Oh, the knight is charging me. I okay. Knockback? Oh my god, it was one damage. Ugh. All right. Well, now we have a queen and a rook. Those were not fortunate promotions. Uh, not at all. No sir, no ma'am, no ma'am, sir. Ma at least that's a knight. Thank goodness. Gonna use the seer's orb to dodge the queen and the rook. And we gotta, we gotta just blast this king. Oh, we missed. Okay, the queen's moving. Queen's moving there. That doesn't really help me that much, but all right. Uh, the rook is moving there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Great. Love it. Fantastic. I have nowhere to move. Oh, shoot. This is bad. I can't, I literally can't move. Uh, the queen's at 5 HP. The rook's at 5 HP. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm gonna reload. Where's the queen moving? It's moving there to checkmate me. All right, this is fine, because what I can do is I can shoot the rook, and then if the rook hadn't died, I could have knight sold over there. As it is, we're gonna just walk around a bit. You're going there, perfect. So we're gonna just like do this move, so now nothing can check me. Except for the king, right, the king. Oh God, well, that, that was a bit of a struggle because of those promotions. Uh, yeah, we're taking one extra damage, so we're gonna reroll that. 
Ah, oh, move range is pretty good. Gets me out of a jam. Is it worth having the queen have two extra HP the whole rest of the game? Nah, I'm gonna take the gunpowder. I got Searzorb to help me avoid the queens, and I don't think I want the queen to have two extra HP, and this is not, you know, rank one where I can just count on walking up and uh, knock, knock backing the queen off the board. That was a risky shot. I don't know what the odds were of the pawn getting blown up and dying to discover check, but I don't think they were zero. Okay, where are you moving? You're moving there? Crap, the bishop's gonna put me in check when the queen doesn't. Ah, that's super annoying. Um, well, knock the bishop off the board or kill the bishop, fine. You're moving there, sidestep. Five? That was a long distance five. I mean, I guess I do have seven power. All right, well, now, out of ammo. This gun does only have the four bullets, which kind of sucks. Well, no, it's five. I lost a very significant bullet here. I'm being a little Rambo here. Oh god, the checkmate. Right, I always forget about that thing. Well, now I have to kill the rook to get a soul for the next fight. We got another rook. That's fine. I would have been okay even with a queen there. It's not the end of the world. Uh, we're just going to move around, get some ammo. Okay. We've got extra, no, this is not an extra shell. This is, you can stuff an extra shell in there and it's plus one firepower if your gun is full. We have a whole bunch of crap. Basically losing a rook to get two knights and a bishop and knights can promote. Well, we gotta take this. I know the witch's curse is bad, but I actually have a lot of firepower. So it's really just the fire range and the arc, which is not a huge deal. I can turn it off if I kill the queen and we got a 100% knockback. I'll reroll this, but I think we're taking this thing. <gasps> it's pretty good. The fire arc, the extra turns on the knight, the extra thing when you kill a, no. If with any other gun, I would take this one, but here we got it. We got to go to 100% knockback. I mean, we got to go to 100% knockback. If you're not going to 100% knockback, what are you even doing with your life? Oh, what the hell? All right, well, fine. I was hoping to like move up with the Rook Soul and then like, uh, you know, actually knock the king off, but alas was not to be oh jesus we are getting a little bit stuffy in here where are you going oh you're charging fine ha huh. wait that's really cool so you can actually if you can use the seer's orb to make a knight commit to charging at you and if you step out of the way it dies so he's charging at me so what if i go here he charges off the board. That's a very potent application of the Seer's Orb. Are you charging as well? Um, okay. Wait, that's not what you said you were doing. Uh, okay. Well, anyway, I mean, I got two free night kills. I'm not going to complain. Um, well, this is a little awkward. Let's get out of here. I need to kill a piece to get my soul back. Oh, I'm in check. Okay. And I can actually knock the king back. We're going to try this. Unfortunately, none of the bullets actually hit the king. Okay, we got to kill this bishop. Randomly also killed a knight. That's good. Oops. Okay. Queen, you're going there. Well, there's not much I can do about that. We don't quite kill the rook. You changed your move. What's up with this move changing, huh? What's up with that? I don't like it. Okay, we should knock the king off here. We missed. It missed. It, it, it. All right. I unfortunately just uh, need to move around to get some ammo back because ammo is a problem. The queen's going there. Fine, we'll go here. Oh, we're going to go here, I mean. Yep, that's what I meant. Now oh, we got an extra queen. Oh boy, well now we have nothing that we can do. We gotta, we gotta shoot and hope to kill the king. And we did not accomplish this task and we have no places to move and we have no bullets and nothing that we can do we're gonna reload and die with a loaded shotgun thanks for watching everybody hope you enjoyed it please like and or subscribe and i'll see you again soon take care